Hello everybody, welcome to week three of Error BB versus Chavita's amazing Kemri team. Um, very, very TV efficient, very scary. Two full tackle pommers, that's horrific. Obviously two sure hands because he's got throw rars, two dirty players, bunch of mighty blow, uh, strength five players, very hard to deal with. I guess the weakness is two re-rolls, but a very, very, very powerful team. Great record, very TV efficient. So this is uh, this is going to be a tough match, you know. And obviously my team is amazing, right? Twenty-one seventy. He's got five, but he does have five hundred and forty TV of inducements. So you know, and he's very good at blood balls. Uh, I've got four rerolls. So I've got a bit of bloat, right? The thirteenth player in the fourth reroll. But I'm sure I'll need the thirteen players in this match because his team is very killy. And also, um, I like having four rerolls. If this was in Chalice, it would be a pretty pretty interesting match, and I would not think I was too favoured. Um, with it being a league, of course, I'm going to prioritise keeping my players alive maybe a little bit more than I would in a Chalice match. But then also, it's kind of an important match, so it's interesting. Interesting, the you know, the tension between going for the win and protecting players. Because it's like, you know, I'd still want to protect my players, but I still want to win. So it's... It's not as easy, whereas if it was obviously in the first round of Chalice, I would sell out everything for the win. Like, I, I, you'd know, I'd, I'd have to be trying to go all out to win this in Chalice. 100%. I, I, you know, I'll, although I've got a 500 TV advantage, this is not in any way an easy match. This would this would be difficult in Chalice. But, uh, but you know, I might go 100... I might go all out in this. I just, I just don't know. It's just, it's just a tough, uh, it's a tough, tough thing. Like he can go all out to win because it's not costing him anything, right? He's the bash team. He's the bash team, so he's he can he can just go all out to win, no problems. Whereas if I go all out to win, I'm I'm risking my players more than I would if I didn't go all out. So, and so it's interesting. It is super interesting, you know, like top three get a buy, which is, a buy is pretty good. A buy is pretty good because, you know, you can lose any game in Blood Bowl. So a buy is very valuable. Like even if you're, even if you're not 80% to win, um, which is a very big favourite, it's still very easy to lose that game, isn't it? So, um, so yeah, it's Chavita. He's very good. Very good. Look at that. 73.5%. Very good. Very good win rate. Not too many games, but uh, a very good win rate. Ah, okay. So to be fair, some of them with with lizard men, but the, the, honestly, a sixty six percent win rate with Nurgle is more impressive to me than an eighty seven percent with lizard men. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm not even. I'm not even joking. If 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 you play a lizard, like if you're trying to win with a lizard men, my lizard men records crap because I just don't care and like, I just stick around with them and I just think what's this you know pointless waste of time when I play lizard men and dwarves. I do worse with lizard men and dwarves because I'm not really giving 110. percent I'm not even giving 100. I'm probably not giving 80. percent I'm probably giving 50 percent when I use dwarves or lizard men. But um, if somebody tries with lizard men, they should really really get a very good win rate. If you know if they're good at blood ball, which obviously Chavita is. Right, he hasn't got frenzy, so we're not in danger of getting surfed. So I think this kind of setup may be the best. Let's let's go all out for turn one, a bit like the game versus uh, Cruz, right? If you remember the the, the grand lizard uh, high elf team um, versus Cruz's Chorth. I set up kind of, you know, able to take advantage depending on what his first turn went like. He had a bad first turn, so I went balls to the wall. This is going to be somewhat similar, right? If he has a, if he has a terrible first turn, we'll go for it. If he has a terrible first turn, then... I mean, if he has an amazing first turn, then maybe back off and double Dakar. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, 10% and brain power on lizards and dwarves, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can you give seven percent and the other team gives you the right. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's funny, isn't it? So yeah, it's interesting. At least we're we're, we're maybe going to play this game. Like you know, we played last season. We didn't play. It was funny because Kalon, hello Kalon, was hyping up the match all all season between me and Chivite, and I like I knew it was going to be a dead rubber. You know, almost certainly. 
like one or both of us will have qualified, so it was going to be a pointless match. Like I just knew that. <laughs> so, uh, with this time, of course, week three, all to play for. We don't know exactly what ramifications are going to be with this match, so we both want to win. But I guess he wants to win more than me because, as I say, he it's not costing him anything to try to win. That, that's the biggest thing, right? I'm not using that as a as a BS or anything. It's just, it's just it's just factual, right? Like elves going to win exposes their precious players. He's he's not. I mean, his players can get pommed, obviously by my blitzer, but like he, you know, they're strength five players or they're pommers of their own and stuff that have got to get making blocks anyway. So there's, there's no like there's no defensive way for a bash team to play real realistically. Against elves versus other bash they can play like you know if he was, if you know if it's two bash teams then you can definitely play defensively, as I did versus Sage in uh, Rebel a few times and then the one time I didn't play defensively defensively versus Sage he killed my team, so if I was a bash team you could definitely play it defensively but I think, in 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 like bash versus agility there's no there's no playing, conservatively for the bash team they you know, killing the team and. And winning the game and protecting your players is is all on the same, you know. <laughs> it's all down the same valley, isn't it? Whereas, you know, if it's bash versus bash, you go for the win, you might get your players killed. If it's elves versus bash, you go for the win, you might get your players killed. Hmm. Well, I think this one more than the first time we played Kalon. Because <laughs> the first one, I, I, you know, I figured it was always going to be pretty pointless. Oh! A Blitzeruni. Well, he has set up against the Blitzeruni quite a lot. Hasn't he? Let's uh, put him in here. But this is pretty okay, isn't it? Let's see if we can smash him to bits. Please. Maybe. Pardon. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Amazing. This way, I might as well go this way. Oh, I could leap. I like how I've rolled two ones on two leaps with this guy. Double one, amazing. Amazing. That's a dicing, isn't it? Instant, instant dicing. Even though I got a blitz. So what was that going to be? One, two, three, four, five, and then you could have gone six, seven, GFI'd, and uh, it'd been pretty interesting. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's changed his plans. <laughs> Having a juicy edge five to foul. <sighs> Go. 
God, that's annoying, isn't it? That is super annoying. Little Thomas T. Step. No, baby. Yeah, I thought he'd. I thought he'd re-roll that. Because if he pushes me, then I, he can't hit me again, right? Because then he'd be there. So that's why I did it, right? To like hopefully not get not get powered. But of course, I got powered and removed and permanently injured. No. I mean, he's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he? He is in a bit of a pickle. Despite that double one, he's still in a pickle. Can you imagine if it, imagine if that Edge Five had the ball? <laughs> he'd be in he'd be in a lot of a pickle right now. He'd be in so much of a pickle it would be unbelievable. But um, he's still in a pickle even despite that double one. Yeah, but like you know what I mean. He needs the players, doesn't he, to like to secure the ball? That's the thing. Like, it, I mean, he, I think he will foul with like two assists if he can. But it's can he afford the position? Is the question. Could just could just fail the pickup, like he did versus Elliot. <laughs> No, see, I'm the one who rolls the double one in this game. I mean, I got the blitz right, so like, I'm just. I know I'm being needlessly uh, thing, but the point was he failed like he failed two against Elliot, which which you know cost him the game. Chances are he doesn't fail any, does it? Seventy five percent. Looks like we're avoiding the foul, though, doesn't it? I think. Oh, he's gonna foul with a mummy. Oh my god! Double one the foul. Double one the bribe, please. Please, please, double one the bribe. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Doing the old 1D blitz. Good. Right. Can I do anything good here? I mean, not really.
Like, I know he had stun firm, but like I had to put that there in case he didn't stun firm, right? <sighs> Outstanding, like a young Burt Reynolds. I don't really want to stand him up to just counter and assist. But I don't want to leap with him again either. One, two, three assists. I mean, he's not blitzing anybody with him, is he? Yeah, he got he got really a bit screwed by the dice versus Eliod. And you know, he's got a bit screwed versus me, right? Giving away the blitz. At the moment, you know, despite the double one on the like that double one on the leap was very unlucky, but he's still under the cosh after the double one because of the blitz. A bit of a pickle. And it is super interesting. It's funny, isn't it? I, you know... <laughs> Kaelon saying super interesting about every single thing that ever happens in a game <laughs> has devalued the impact of super interesting a little bit. But, um, you know, some things some things are super interesting, aren't they? And some things are not what I would have done, but who can say if it's right or wrong? But, um, again, you know, like that, I, I always dislike that about the rebel school of commentary. Because... That devalues those occasions, doesn't it? You know, that's the thing. Like, you know, when I was watching Eliod versus uh, Eliod versus Javite, there was things that both of them did that I wouldn't have done that weren't right or wrong, I don't think. Like, I don't even think, you know, I would have done the right thing and they did the wrong thing, right? They were just, they just chose things that had different risk-reward or you know, different pros and different cons or, or whatever, right? Like, obviously, if we had a Blood Bowl stockfish, one of us would be right and one of us would be wrong. <laughs> but seeing as that's never going to happen, it's easier to just say who knows who's right and who's wrong. And the answer is nobody knows because nobody's very good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> But I still think it's interesting. To me, it interests me that, you know, the fact that, you know, if I was playing Chavite, I might do something that Elliot wouldn't do, or Elliot might do something I wouldn't do, or if Elliot's playing Chavite, he might do something that I wouldn't do, or Inarian wouldn't do, or, you know, all that kind of thing. I think is rather. It, I think that is super interesting. Oh, we can uphill the, uphill the Toomey. Uphill the Toomey, let's go! I mean, don't even need to uphill the Toomey right now. He is still in very much in a pickle. He is very much in peak, 
peak pickle <laughs> state. <laughs> Oof, he makes the dodge. Maybe, Kalon, maybe. I am very smart. My intelligence is massive. Well, this is fucking brilliant, isn't it? Could assist there. He, the strength four could come in here. I'd really like to do something with the strength four, but I can't block with him now. I can 1D, 1D into a 2D. I really hate that though. If I dodge her in there and push him to here, then this guy goes, what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. Without rerolls. Oh, fuck off. Another double one. Well, better there than on this guy doing it, I guess. One, two, three. He had to do like three two plus dodges to get the 2D on the ball. But again, I just wanted to have something there to make it, you know, a bit more pressure in case he fit. Because you know, obviously, there's more chance of failing three two pluses than one. So <laughs> get him somewhat relevant, and then uh, try for that. How's me, Blodger? Outrageous! I know he's got tackle. Still the luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> Was I, was I here? Could I have just gone back? One, two, three, four, five, six. But I mean, I would have failed with the add five then anyway, if I had. But maybe I could have just gone back. One, two, three, four, four five, six. Could have gone back to here. Because Potato's looking a bit tasty for him. But I mean, if Potato's, he's lost anyway, I think. Because I can catch him if he Potato's, right? Like, a Potato seems just a fucking terrible idea versus me. I don't see how it, how he can break away with a Potato. <laughs> Because I can just 2 plus and get him. So 
So the breakaway isn't really on. Even though I haven't got anything to stop the breakaway. But this is this is alright, the half cage is alright. Oh, you bastard. Okay, good. Lucky Jim! Good. Bad that on a sidestep here. Sidestep would have been very nice. Shut up. Randall, I know with the stun. Shut up. This is a good move. Yeah, it's an annoyingly good move there. Yeah, he's run around two D the ball. Seems like a decent thing to do, honestly. 3-2 to 2D the ball. That pushes him back into here with the Edge 5 and others ready to deal, to react. Or, of course, this guy could 2 plus. Uh, 2 plus, 3 plus, uh, it's not worse, isn't it? So I, just think, I think this is okay. Let's get him back first. <sighs> Don't my last reroll instantly. One, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or he could go one, two, three. Four, and then she could really run away. I think that's maybe the best way. Oh my fucking god. Right. But is it three, isn't it? I mean, she's safe then, it's a way, it's, it's done. Okay, good. 
Good. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. I love Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh. I love Blood Bowl. Sucked having to use the reroll on the on the hit, but I would have I would have definitely you know like used the reroll on the pickup, so it's all right. Thanks. <laughs> you won't like that much. Puts in the bolt. But if he doesn't break AV, I've got jump up, which is exactly what happens. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I, lo I love the A on positive, yeah. <laughs> that too lovely. Hey. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but you know, I just I just find it amusing. Need Kalon clips of Kalon remixes of gym clips. <laughs> Is this my AV seven guy? I've got no idea. Which is the AV7, it isn't. He might survive. He does, kind of. I mean, a stun is very surviving, isn't it? But he didn't. He didn't survive the getting knocked over, but yeah, very happy with a stun from his pommer. He can pick up the ball with him, can't he? He's got to dodge, though, actually. But he, but he got the scatter so that he can uh, he can double GFI and pick it up. Whoa. That's his last reroll for the half. Puts it in. Boy, howdy. Woohoo! Giggity, giggity. Oh! <laughs> right. The problem is, of course, I've got no safe moves at all, right? This is the closest one to a safe move. I guess this is somewhat of a safe move, isn't it? Nice. Oh, I had an extra player, I could have hit him! Fuck! What an idiot! I'm not going to stall, I'm going to go for two now. 
Because <laughs> he's out of rerolls, right? He's out of rerolls and he's done no damage. Do that. <laughs> We've got to hit him with a BM. We've got to hit him with a BM, you know, in mental warfare here against Chavita. <laughs> this keeps him off my back more. Like, him trying to score in four turns kind of like protects my team more, right? It keeps him off my back. He's really having to shift the ball, trying to protect it as best he can, maybe leaving a, a, a shot open. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, so, you know, like, it's, it's just, uh, it is just BM, but uh, he's out of re-rolls. You know, he can get put under pressure here, definitely. Outrageous. You know, he could have failed to pick up the ball, couldn't he? He fucking could have failed to pick up the ball instead of a fucking touchback. And maybe I should have just surfed his killer, right? I could have surfed his killer. Installed, maybe I should have done. But I think, honestly, I think it, it, it can be easier on defense than offense versus Camry. You know, he's not using he's not using his tomb guardians to stop me breaking through, is he? He's standing around, being the same as any other player. And he's got to protect the ball, and he's, he can't just tee off hitting people. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of pluses for going for the 2-0 here. Um, but I mean, there would have been a lot of pluses going for the stall as well. Maybe I should have thought more about it. But you know, I thought, I just figured if I stall for like a turn or two, it's not as good as just banging it in and going for the 2-0. But maybe it would have been. Or oh, is it my guy? Ah, oh, shit. I guess I would have sidestepped to there. I guess I would have sidestepped there anyway. I think I actually sidestepped to the right square. Um, by playing on my phone. So there you go, that's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Computer did probably a better choice than I would have made if I'd been paying attention. Very nice. <laughs> it literally just takes the ball down so he could use Juggernaut. <laughs> Classic play. That, do you know what? That there is the kind of person who thinks Juggernaut is good. <laughs> That's what they have to do to justify it to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what these people have to do to justify it to themselves.
No, oh, I've got the plus one. I've got the plus one. <laughs> I really want to. I really want to. No. He's got reserves. It's stupid. I don't want this to... I haven't got anybody too who can harass. The movement guy, maybe? It is pretty brain dead, yeah, Alp. It is pretty brain dead. Funnily enough. Applying the rules of tabletop to a video game is stupid as fuck. It should come to nobody's surprise that that's the decision Cyanide have made, because most of the things that they do are stupid as fuck. I just still can't believe multiple block isn't in the game. Like, it's so crazy to me that one of the skills just isn't in. And I know it's a crap skill that nobody cares about, but you know, it makes it makes randoms for dwarves better. And like other people, but mostly dwarves. But it makes random skill, random strength skills better. That that's like literally the biggest impact of not having multiple block. Not that anybody would actually want to take multiple block. Just that it uh, makes random skills better. But, like, how crazy is it that they just, just, they just shipped it without a skill in? They were just like, it's just too hard, mate. Fuck it. We can't. It's beyond us. This is just beyond the limits of our abilities. <laughs> we can... We just can't even try. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then eight months later, like, you know, I've got no idea how, how hard bugs are to fix and stuff, you know. So, like, I can't judge on that. But, you know, it does seem there's a lot of bugs. But, like, that is okay. Fair enough, you know. You're not going to fix all the bugs, whatever. But, like, it seems crazy that they just haven't got a skill in the game. Eight months after it came out, uh, she's shit anyway. <laughs> Eight months, they just haven't bothered. They just haven't bothered putting it in. Did he even? Did he even uh, argue the call there or not? Yeah, he did. All right. Three, three, two. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right, so now we just have to, uh, I guess this player here. It's pretty good, isn't it? I can get all the way over there. Maybe I could punch him. I don't really want to make two plus rolls. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to make a. This is pretty good. This could be pretty good though to get him over there as well. One, two, three, four, five, seven. I've got to go here. <laughs> Bit of BM. Got to nail the BM in these situations, haven't you? Thanks. I think I can get 20k from this match. I'm getting you rich health. Because like she was pretty boring, right? Just blocking side stuff. I think she was good, but I was putting her on the LOS. <laughs> I was putting her on the LOS. <laughs> It's not a 4 plus for a Sedek, is it? So I'm sure he's got a double dodge. Hmm. Imagine implying Jimmy isn't the best at this game. Flip me, Kalon. How long are you known me, buddy? Please, Kalon. It's insulting to think that I haven't anticipated your every move. <laughs> if you know what that movie's from, you get a gold star. Okay, no. A good movie, not an absolutely shit one. Is, is, the, is the only clue I'm going to give you. Not the only movie I've ever walked out of a cinema from. <laughs> I, watched the, I watched Fruity Road for free and still wanted my money back. Golden Eye is, is, is what that was from. There you go. The best. The best James Bond movie ever. Pretty undisputably. The 
problem here is this guy can't outrun anybody. Everyone else can try, though. Golden Eye was so good. Oh my god. Do you know what was funny? I watched it with my buddies at New Year's Eve once because uh, we had, like, you know, a house party for New Year's Eve one year. And uh, it was on, so, like, me and Wanger wanted to watch it because we were like, for Bean! Bean! Let's watch, let's watch it again! Let's watch Bean! <laughs> and, uh, you know, as you do, like, like any rational person would, we were like, let's watch Bean. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. He's double GFI, so he can go one and safe. Safe from the pommer. Um, so we were like, let's watch Bean. And my friend had just got a new... Uh, had just got a new TV. And it was the thing that... I don't know if you've heard of this. Not, not everyone is affected by this. But if you have heard of the soap opera effect... Um, it's a very real thing, and it's, it's so bad, it's just, it's so flipping bad. Ah, but maybe should have uh, kept that guy over there, right, to screen him. It's so bad, like these new TVs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got, look, Elliot, Elliot must be an artistic type, hello Elliot. The only other person that I've known who it really bothers is Skurometso. And, uh, yeah, like, the TV adds in extra frames to, uh, to, like, make up for the, uh, the lack of frame rate. And it makes, it makes everything look like, you know, it's just obviously on sets and stuff and, like, looks really amateurish and weird, like, like you know, like Neighbours or something. Like, you're, like you're watching Neighbours rather than, like, a real movie or whatever. So, um, and that was when I noticed it was because he'd got like, you know, whenever we watched that was when new TVs came out, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> I had had my, uh, I had had my big TV for ages, like by that point, but, um, these were when the, the new wave of TVs, like, you know, LEDs or whatever had come out and they had all started having this in them. And it was the first one I'd seen. And I was like, God, this is horrific. And he just thought I like, I was taking the piss because I was jealous. But uh, it just some people can't stand it. Some people absolutely cannot stand the soap opera. And some people are fine with it. Most people are fine with it, apparently. And like that's obviously why they put it in as the default settings, right? But I hate it. I cannot stand it. It's, it just, it's just, you know, it absolutely kills me. Unwatchable. Yeah, Shrek didn't need one wrestling. My, my, one of my friends watched it and he was like, oh my God, Shrek's amazing. There's loads of wrestling. And he like, he hyped up the wrestling so much. And then I was like, you know, I'll stay until the wrestling scene. And the wrestling scene lasted like five seconds. I was like, well, what? this isn't worth mentioning. This isn't worth mentioning, you idiot. <laughs> Why did you even mention the wrestling scene? Okay, we're hitting this guy. Let's go. Oh, I haven't got a reroll. I haven't got a reroll. I'm not hitting him. Right. Clever Jim. It already cost me. It already cost me versus Hancock. I'm not going to have it cost me versus Chavita as well. <laughs> Almost wish I'd saved the apple. I didn't really want that witch elf. I had, you know, I just... She was on. The, she was standing on the front line every... Like, she was on the LOS every drive, for fuck's sake. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Has he got eleven? Three, six, nine, eleven. Yeah, he's got eleven. Ah. 
Like, a death's pretty bad, isn't it? A death is pretty bad. Maybe I could have avoided it. And she was on 29. Maybe if she'd been on 31 got under the normal, I should have... Uh, maybe I should have avoided her on 29. But honestly, block sidestep's pretty, pretty lame, isn't it? I can just give her wrestle and she's finished, right? Then I've got more power versus blodgers. Like, ball sacking. Well, death is pretty bad, even though the player isn't very good. That was the thing. Like, I'd, I'd been appoing, like, you know, a dead dodge guarder. Dodge guarder dead, I would have appoed. I didn't appo because she's got two normals, but she's got a lot of SPP. I probably should have appoed it. I could roll a d6 now and see what would have happened. Let's go. I've got my d6 somewhere. Here we go. Fucking casino dice. The casino dice are out. One. Badly hurt. Fuck. <laughs> Diced again. Of course it was a one. That's great, isn't it? Of course, if I just roll a random dice, it'll be a one. Why, why didn't I think of that? I'm such a fool. Of course it would be a one. Like it was, I'm not even, I'm not even lying for the, uh, the hilarity of rolling a one. It was indeed a one. He's on 14, so he could try and get some completions. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Right, good job I uh, spied the field position there. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, shut up! Unbelievable. <laughs> Unfucking believable. Like, how does how does a seventy three percent player? Set up that bad, and then I get a fucking perfect defense. Fuck's sake. Lose me into playing a, a real drive by setting up that badly. Sets up that badly to lure me into playing a proper drive. Oh my god, that is unreal. Unreal. Fuck, man. I 
thought I was lucky that I'd spotted it as well, wasn't I? I was like, you know, I'd set up to Daka and I was like, what? He's just been a complete moron. <laughs> why, why has he been a complete fucking moron? <laughs> oh, never mind. I will defend. Never mind. Am I a moron? Apparently. Oh, unreal. Thank you very much, Cy Red Eye, gifting a sub to Twitch. Amazing. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, dear. What a big mistake. See, that's what I said. I said as well, didn't I? In the uh, in the game, in the in the in the Elliot versus Javite game, I was like, both of these are good enough that they'll that they'll probably never make a really terrible mistake. And here he made one, and fucking all it got him was a per bloody perfect defence and a worse offensive drive for me. Outrageous. 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 I can't, I can't deny that I'm a little disappointed. <sighs> wow. I'm just going to be stupid here, because I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, lob it. Why didn't he go there? I don't know why I put him in the wrong square. Oh, he can go there, I guess. And then a lob it. So do I want these guys in the way in case it fails? No. No, I do not. Yeah. Tackle, fuck off. It's not actually that bad having him down there. <laughs> Gives us an outlet. Not even that bad. <sighs> Mine got. <laughs> Whoops, I don't want my Tomb Guardian served. <laughs> I mean, he can get his Blitzer served now if he doesn't break AV here. Of course he does. Look a dog. Like, actual look a dog. He could have just got. He could have just got. I could double surf, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then run in and double surf. 
Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine? One, two, three, four, five. So go back to here. Glorious disrespect passing. You gotta farm the SVPs against beginners, haven't you? That's how the That's how the game works. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Go two nil up on their drive and then farm SVPs in the second half. Mmm. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I've got to, haven't I? I guess I have to. If I put two guards in, then he blitzes one and then surfs the other. But if I only put one guard in, What if I uh, dodge to here and then hit him? Has he got the defensive assist? The edge five is now free, right? So I could literally just dodge there, dodge there, and surf that way with three assists in here. And then just go, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it would be a leap and two GFIs. 2D him, surf him. And that's the safest way to get the surf. And nobody getting hurt. Well, isn't this just the same? No, because this way I can power him. But I'm adding dice rolls. So it's interesting, isn't it? Hitting from this angle means I can power him and he's less likely to be able to react well. But obviously this is just an easy surf. No dice rolls. But he can blitz him and definitely surf back. I think I prefer not letting him surf back. Good. Well. I've had worse turns in my life.
She's on 47, so she wants a completion as well. Actually, I should have passed it to her, but never mind. I wanted to, like, blitz with her, maybe, because she's strength four and frenzy, but... Oh, he up away. How... That was a KO. Oh, that... The KO was on him. Oh, for fuck's sake. With seeing the AV break and then seeing the KO, I thought he was the one KO'd, and that was a double removal. So, actually, it wasn't as amazingly game over as I thought. <laughs> I was mega excited, to tell you the truth. But, uh, uh, only stunning the team Guardian is a bit shit. Got to remember that this guy's got Juggernaut versus the uh, Witch, right? It's the only. It's a bit. That's a bit interesting that the Juggernaut does make the Witch Elf. Uh, Doesn't have rest. But that was pretty cool. I thought it was a pretty cool play anyway. I'm going to give myself top marks for that play. <laughs> Like adding three two pluses without like dodge or anything was a bit shit, but you know the sheer potential of it. It stops the counter surf, and uh, you know that. I mean, it was nearly a double move anyway, right? It got stunned. Three out of seven. I thought it was five out of seven. Oh, no, that's perfect, isn't it? Oh, he's double GFIing with his tackler. Hmm, maybe I should have followed here. Eh? Impiling means I get to run away from him, which is good. Safe. Safe. I got already wanted to run away from the Tomb Guardian, so now I get to run away even more. No, he can't, no. <laughs> no, it's just protecting the players now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't need to pile. <laughs> Imagine letting me pile. Didn't even need to. <laughs> Get off my fucking bitch, prick. <laughs> Why am I being so mean? <laughs> Why are you 
Why are you so mean? This is revenge. This is revenge from beating me in the completely pointless game. <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you get when you beat me 2-0 in a game that didn't matter at all. <laughs> Absolute vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, a completion and then a touchdown for her and she levels. Good. He's got one for the MVP. He's 16. He could get a 51, couldn't he? That's that's a goal. And he could get up to 76, but he's just going to do that by punching people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have got to think about the, um... About this guy having jugs, right, and break tackle. I really want to blitz him, but like, I just can't really. Well, I guess I can. He can go there through here, right? And even a double one wouldn't have been too terrible. So he can go there and then pass it back to him. This one diced. Never lucky. Most dice man in Blood Bowl confirmed. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. No, obviously that wasn't end. dicing and I didn't even matter. End. I just did it because I had four re-rolls. <laughs> I wouldn't have re-rolled it. I wouldn't have cared about failing it. Was just... um, thank you very much, Cy Red Eye, and uh, welcome XQC Glorious. Thank you very much for the gift sub. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, this sucked given this. I really wanted to tag him, to be honest. I really wanted to tag him just so he wouldn't pawn my killer. I've saved my apple though, I've saved my apple. Ah. Didn't even need to.
I guess he's going to foul him as well. Oh god, with two assists. All I had to do was protect players. And <laughs> I somehow exposed <laughs> my killer to a POM. And, uh, and a 2DP foul. The good thing is, if he removes my killer, at least I get the surface tackler. <laughs> So that's nice, isn't it? And obviously it's definitely a win now. Three, I could just try three completions with the Witch Elf. Run away and three completions. Problem is, if I hand off to her, then uh, he's going to stay here, right? So it makes makes things a bit trickier. Whereas if we assume this guy gets KO'd or something, she can just blitz through and get the ball. Doesn't get killed. So I don't get to uh, surf this guy. But I do get to just blitz past him, eh? Three D him. Well, he can go there, which means he can go there, and he can go a bit, uh, a bit further at the end. Oh no, diced! Phew. I think I didn't even need to do that. Vanity dodge there, no reason. Brilliant. Alio, Alio, tapioca king. Yeah, it was. It was pretty interesting. It was pretty interesting. I got a blitz, which put Javite under the cosh instantly. And uh, managed to break away and decided, because he used all of his re-rolls, I went for the 2-0 because, uh, because I thought, you know, obviously Kemri without re-rolls, things can happen, right? Get themselves into trouble. And uh, also, if, if I'd just stalled, maybe I only get to stall it for two more turns. So that doesn't really achieve anything, whereas this gives me more turns to turn him over and score again. So, like, I did... I did... It wasn't... It wasn't... I saw the miss because he's a beginner, which is obviously a joke. But, um... I did think scoring early, I, I quite liked scoring early, and then obviously got the 2-0, and then did lots of passes in the second half. Um, the bad thing is this one died, and I didn't even try to whap her because I thought she's a bit shit. But, while she is a bit shit, <laughs> Blodge Step's pr still pretty decent, isn't it? <laughs> it's still actually pretty decent having Blodge Step. <laughs> but, um... No point. Hey, look, there's no point waiting. See, this strength four, and I'd rather save him. I'd rather save him when he dies. Okay, 
I guess no one's going to die now, just so I'll feel worse that I didn't apple her, but still. Knowing my luck, I'll say that, and then this one will die, and then I'll fail the apple, and then it'll be like, oh. This inducement. Yeah, and she's alright, like, another blood step is decent, isn't it? It's just not, just not that good. I think I'll remake her as a Wrestle Witch, because a Wrestle Witch is finished. Right, he's getting fouled. So, I don't want to stall. Who can I blitz? This one. Yeah, he couldn't do it back to where he wanted, could he? So he just didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I did just realise it turned late that she had enough space, to, she had enough turns to do it, but never mind. Right. Shitheads on the LOS. Good players back here. Like even this blood stepper, right? Like he just gets put in shit places because he's like he's not worth protecting. Like it's fucking brutal. It's brutal how like the team's just too good that a blood step blitzer is basically nothing, and the blood step witch elf is basically nothing. But I guess I could have appled her. Make it easier for him to uh, go down this side. Yeah, I did fuck up there. Like, I literally said, all I've got to do is protect my good players, and then, like, almost instantly exposed one. I think the turn, the turn that I said, all I've got to do is protect my good players, I protected them, and then the next turn I exposed them. Which was pretty fucking stupid. I should have withdrawn that turn, definitely, and uh, focused on just getting the completions on, on the Witch Elf. Snipe with this guy. Shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have let him get. Like once I'd surfed, once I'd done the surf and that, I should just run over this side and then, which I did, didn't I? I could, I should have just run back. Yeah. The turn I went forward and blitzed, I should have run back. Eight players on the pitch. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant game, really, isn't it? I just stupid not appalling it. <laughs> what a difference not getting everybody cast on turn one makes. <laughs> Basically, like even if he makes three cast now, it's not going to affect the result of the match, is it? It's just when when they get the removals, how many they get. But that's the thing, the blitz meant that he wasn't teeing off with Pom, right? He was battling for the ball all the time. So I got, I got very lucky, like, the blitz was doubly lucky. Not only was it putting, you know, an edge to slow team under loads of pressure, it also meant he wasn't teeing off with tackle Pommers.
Every turn I regret the non-apple more and more. The worst thing was I've thought in my head, you know, like I won't apple her because she's just blodged her. And I won't apple him because he's just blodged her. I did think that. I did think these two I will I just won't apple at this stage. But god damn. I mean, but then how bad would I have felt, right, if the Arch 5 had died? Or if the Pommer had died? So. But then it's so unlikely that they do, isn't it? <laughs> You're freaking out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I thought something would have died, yeah. Or it would have failed, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I rolled the dice. I rolled the dice. That conclusively proves that it would have been a one. So funny that I rolled a one. I wasn't even I wasn't even blagging it. I'd totally rolled the dice. You might be able to hear it on the mouse mat here. I rolled another one. <laughs> It's just fucking guaranteed at this point. I'm not even lying. I wish I'd put my fucking face cam on it. You would have seen it. Literally rolled a dice twice and got double fucking one. Amazing. But yeah, if I'd have put it, it could have failed or something else good could have died. But it's just a bit frustrating. It's 29, right? Because like, I would have liked to have got a 31 and see if she got a stat or a double. <laughs> Another one. But still, skill up for the strength four is good. SPP for the Pommer is good. It's going to be a struggle to get an extra skill on this Blitzer. 16 is quite far away. 10 isn't too far away on these two, right? These two could get blocked. He doesn't need another skill. He could get another skill, but I just don't know what it would be, like sure hands or tackle. He'll get them naturally, you know, just by being an important player. So I don't mind, like, just getting a new witch and getting her up to six for a wrestle, and that's kind of good enough. Funny old giving it a bit of a dicing, bit of a dicing. But, uh, I don't know, I like how I played too. He, uh, he made one horrendous mistake, <laughs> and it didn't matter. <laughs> but, like, you know, the horrendous mistake didn't contribute to the gun 2 0 behind. Tanks kill on. Oh no, losing money. Reroll. Ah, oh, I failed to get 110k! <laughs> Diced! <laughs> Diced! What was that? I was 75% to get enough money for a replacement witch, and I failed. Diced! Oh, yes! The guy who got the completion got the MVP! Get up! Get up there! A very light damage, wasn't it? Three kills and one Kaz. I got pretty lucky. Lords of SPP, 10. 24 SPP. Very lucky game. I just the leap did my head in, didn't it? The double one on the leap at the start was stupid. And I, mostly the dodges were weren't great. But obviously, you have dodge on everybody, so dice were pretty bad overall. For block dice. His block dice were good. I'd say getting eighteen full powers. But um. Yeah, yeah, rough game for him. He only got to kill one of my players and lost. <laughs> lost 3 <three> 0. <laughs> Five SPPs. But he, he did get to kill somebody. Not that it gets him a free player like it would Undead, but still. I'm sure him killing a witch will please him for, like, the playoffs implication. Alright, Witch Elf. 
It's a skill. Probably sidestep. Honestly. Maybe leap, right? Maybe leap. And then she could 3 plus a leap in with strength 4. That would be pretty cool. He does not get movement. I might start taking wrestle on the linos now. This one could take wrestle. And then this one could even go wrestle first. Because I've got so much dodge. He could maybe go wrestle first. Yeah, exactly. Plus strength and rackle as well, right? Ra plus strength and rackle with leap is... And Frenzy as well, right? So you can, like, 3-plus Surf Team Guardians and stuff. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun thing to do. And uh, and obviously 3-plus in to Smash Cage. Like, cages be just become irrelevant. Because I can always, 8 times out of 9, jump in for 4 dice on the ball. So, yeah. Pretty pretty good. Oh, no, definitely not Strip. It's Sidestep or, side or Leap. Uh, there's uh, there's like about I don't know there's some more games this season, eight games plus playoffs. Hopefully I will make playoffs. I uh, you know I I plan to make playoffs. The uh, top seven or eight make playoffs, so like quite a lot make playoffs, and three get a buy. So I'm I'm hoping for a buy. Elliot is almost certainly wrapped up his buy spot. I think he's won like he's won hard games, right? Um, he beat he beat six orcs, which are one of the buy contenders, and then he beat Chavite's Kemri, which is one of the buy contenders, and then he's beaten the that there Phil's Nurgle team, which is one of the buy contenders. So he's just literally beaten three buy contenders in his first three games. So <laughs> it's pretty that's pretty solid, <laughs> pretty solid start from Elliot. Um, so yeah, with with that start, Elliot has almost wrapped, wrapped it up, um, and almost like not almost. Obviously, anything can happen, but still, you know, I I I think he'd be a lot favoured in the other games. Like you can see, just where they are, right? Uh, they're okay. Chavita isn't doing as well because he played, he lost to me as well, but but you know, it's really really good start, really good start from Elliot. Um, so while I'm not seeing, it's not wrap. He hasn't wrapped it up, but he's in he's in pole position, obviously. Um, Looking really good for the for one of like he's only got to finish three right he's only got to finish third for the buy so so Elliot looks to have locked it up in my mind it, it's not locked up but <laughs> obviously it's nothing like locked up but he's in such a strong position for it I think I think he's in a very strong position for it so now it's like I think it's Elliot and two others and uh, I've won one of the hard games I think versus Javita. Threw away a draw, really, like versus Danton. That was that should have been a win after I got so lucky in the first half with the two two quad skulls. Um, got my win versus Drac, whose team is you know is really, really out of its depth. It's uh, his team is just crap, unfortunately for him. So I would have that win is not such a feather in the cap. <laughs> um, but yeah, eight games left. Got Tapioca King next. And then, uh, this romance isn't undead, is like being totally ignored by everybody. PK83, but like, it's a good team. I guess he's just lost some TV. It was higher than that before. It seems, that seems a good team. But, uh, and then Elliot, the big one there versus Elliot. That there, Phil. The brown envelopes. I don't know who the brown envelopes are. Can't even see. Oh, yeah, the Skaven. Skaven with a natty. So that's going to be hard. Um, then sick. And then the... Oh, that's the chorfs, isn't it? The chorfs at the end. And then the last one is uh, Squiggy with the Undead. They won the, they won the league in the second season, didn't they? Um, but I predicted a fall-off for this season. And then, and then not only did he get a fall off, he got his entire team deleted on day one of the season. He was unbelievably unlucky versus the Chorfs and just got his entire team deleted. So that's a season basically over week one. That's fun, isn't it? But at least at least he got to win the league last season, eh? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, he's got that. He's got that going for him. Uh, so yeah, losing the, losing the Witch Elf isn't the end of the world. It really isn't. Um... Can replace and just get a wrestle witch. A wrestle witch will be fine. Um, 
and uh, and yeah, probably a wrestle Lino there. And I might go leap. I might go leap. Again, thinking about Elliot, right? Think about how do I beat Elliot? It's stupid that like that's all I've thought from day one was how do I beat Elliot in the playoffs? And there's obviously other good players and good teams, but the thing is, you don't need anything special to beat like. A bash team, right? If you if you're elves, there's nothing, there's not there's no problem to solve. You just make a good team, and you're good against bash teams, and all of the other good coaches and teams are bash teams. So there's literally no way to be a, a, a natty. You've just got to hope. <laughs> you know, hope is your your cure against a natty. So then it's like, how do you beat war dancers and and stuff like that? Is the question. Yeah, I, sh I could have got to 2,200 this game. I really thought about getting a 14th player against Javidia because I thought he'd destroy my team. And, you know, obviously he got unlucky and didn't destroy my team. So that was nice. Right. Um, I should wrap up the YouTube video at some point. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.